Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pearls of Wisdom. I have a little update for you today in astrology. It is a quarter moon, or some people call it half moon. We can actually use both because it's a quarter of the whole circle around. Or if you look at it, it's looking half. And um, there is there are some in an arc there are some stars aligned in the moment and i just show you this image this is really interesting but you know this is not so seldom like some people say you see here moon mars and then we come here so now you see very clearly that the moon is in gemini this is gemini constellation and then we have venus uranus in a conjunction and then here we have mercury jupiter the sun saturn and actually further away we also have um, pluto and pluto has just moved just now moved into capricorn so this is a very um quite powerful situation and i will elaborate that more in in my next uh, reading but i want to show you the chart and you can see when we have such an alignment here you can see the stars one after the other so this uh, this kind of arc of um, planets is not that seldom. Every time when you see like the planets cluster around very close, it is that kind of alignment. So it's not really this alignment that is so special. But what is in this time now, first of all, we always have, when we have a half moon, we have a, a square, which is a challenge, which is something to... Um, that we have that we feel maybe challenged or something uh, shows up in our life that we don't like to look at now the sun is in pisces and we still have a lot of planets in pisces as you see here so it is still kind of a walk you know you don't really know what's going on and the moon has gone into gemini that means now that the moon that from the feeling something wants something to communicate to you but it is very difficult you cannot really comprehend it's like something deep deep inside of you inside of your soul wants to come up to the surface which will be more clear uh, when we come afterwards uh, to the next step of the moon so when we see forward then the moon is coming forward here when the uh, sun is um, with the moon together in gemini we're gonna have the full uh, the dark moon sorry but what we have here is from Saturn, we have a trine going to both to Mars and to the moon. Now, see, Saturn is always said to be the bad planet. But again, I just can emphasize everything has a positive and a negative side. You can use, like, for example, take the numbers, the triple six. Uh, together, if you have you have eighteen, you have nine, and six. The six-pointed star actually represents harmony, uh, equal um, positive and negative energy in balance. And look how it is misused from certain people. And this is the same with Saturn. Saturn, it is the end of a cycle. It's the end of something, the physical end of something. But you know, if, for example, um, physical things would not end, would not die, what do you think we could create new? We would be in a cycle, everything, uh, just look at the gardens, you know. <laughs> Yeah, but it needs, it is absolutely necessary on a physical planet that physical things have to die, that something new can be born. So don't look at it in a negative uh, um, way. But when we look at the trine here to moon and it's coming, Saturn is now coming out of Aquarius and the moon is in Gemini, I think it is time to start to understand the true mystery of what that is. And I want to say here that it is not you holding the soul somewhere inside you. It is the soul holding you. And in a way, again, you are a soul, you're a divine being having this human experience. But you have maybe seen some pictures of auras and you're 
always can see that the aura expands the physical body. So it's it's very different. And we have, again, to unlearn everything, what we've learned, and a lot of information that has been convinced people go into a fear consciousness. There is nothing to fear. You are immortal. And I think this is the topic that is coming up now for you to really look at. And I was lucky that I had some experience kind of from the other side that I I know deep inside from all that, that it will never end. It will just continue. It's just like I step out of this body and continue with my experience. And then I might come back into a physical body to have another experience. And I arrange um, to have a body and souls together arrange that somebody is being incarnated into a family. And this is now the trine that we have here. This is the key to the challenges that we see here with the square, that we need to move beyond the dogmatic linear box-like thinking and kick that all away to understand who we really are. And I think the key to this will be Neptune, sorry, will be uh, Pluto, and Neptune later, I'll talk about that later also, uh, because I don't know many of you who have seen my videos and who follow me longer might remember that you, when you look at the sign, we have the moon and inside of the moon is a circle and at the bottom is a cross. This is exactly the same elements as we have in Mercury. But the thing is that the circle is not below the moon, but the circle is inside of the moon. And the moon represents the soul. The circle is the divine, is the consciousness. So that is when we look also from a different perspective, uh, perspective as just the hellhound and all the negative that is talked about Pluto. We can also give this planet the name goddess. Because we can see, we can see that's like the egg, the consciousness in the womb, ready to be materialized. And now when um, Pluto is moving into Capricorn, we, we are confronted with that topic of death. We are going into this um, letting go of all the old, of letting the old die, that the rebirth can be glorious afterwards. So this is this is now just happening. Also, Saturn has just moved lately into Aquarius, and we have here Neptune in Pisces. And all this together, I will explain. I will give you more explanation at the next reading with the with the half square here. We are all in a situation of of um, I think cognitive dissonance too. That's one thing. Because we have been lied to so, so many years that it's very difficult for humanity to understand, first of all, who you really are. Second of all, why you are here or why I, we all are here. And third, what is the real purpose of our lives? Now, this will come to the surface within this awakening of people and the moon will hear the, the communication here that is the trying to Saturn. We have a chance to start to understand the truth. Of course, everybody's truth is a little bit difficult, uh, different, and, and it's difficult to understand other people's truths. But on the other hand, when you look at it, when you put it all together, we become, it becomes very similar. When you look at the desire of a human being, as, an, as a human being that has not completely lost the connection with the divine, what do they want? The first reaction of a human being, if it sees somebody in need, the first reaction is the empathy, to help. And in general, we can say people are good. But this is being, um, this was overridden by dogma, by brainwash, that made us 
fear base that we are afraid to step up to help. Just imagine, for example, many, many years ago, I was, uh, that was not in my country where I was born. And I was used, like, for example, if you see an accident or if you see something, you step up and you help. And I've been warned, for heaven's sake, don't do that. They, they, for example, they stage an accident and that you might help and then they capture you, they steal your purse and whatever, and maybe even beat you up or rape you. Don't, if you see an accident, just drive on. For me, this was actually a very horrible thing to think about it, that there might be people need my help, but I, I was, when I'm alone, so I felt and I was afraid and I didn't stop. And this is so sad, you know, think about it. What happened in situation? What happened to people? What happened to our humanity within this brainwash? Now, this will all come to the surface. It will, it will all come out. And we have afterwards with the two yellow aspects here that's also coming from the moon that is going to Chiron. That is a healing aspect with Jupiter and Mercury included here in the conjunct in the in this conjunction here. But you know that healing aspect and that aspect is now that expansion that we need to face that fear to move forward and that will help us to become really human again. Can I say that way? Because um, today, when I look what humans are doing, it's not really a compliment to be human. It's more a compliment to be like an animal. They're much more uh, civil, civilized with each other. Even when I observe my animals and others, sometimes they are really nicer to each other than some human. But we have to bring that back. We have to heal humanity, expand the consciousness again beyond the identification of the persona, the mask. The, the costume that we're in and this this is now all this is now cracking open and if you look closer into the world what is happening you can see it you can see it everywhere I just saw some pictures from France how they really stand up now and again the mainstream doesn't show much here we have Venus and um Uranus together on the IC here for the world we can see in areas still and this is the breaking loose of the energies, the, the creative, the creation energies, preparing to manifest something new. Remember what I said about Pluto here, we have also the sign of Venus, but we have the moon in between, it could be Venus here. So that is the giving birth of the soul. And together with Venus and Uranus, Uranus as the higher self, as the connection to the divine, also looking here at the positive aspect of Uranus, not the negative. Because as I said, everything has two sides, but we work now from the light and not from the negative shadow side. So this is the breakthrough of the divine within humanity. And here we have Libra and just the, the, the letters L-I-B, liberation, <laughs> it just came to mind before. So everything is going to be balanced, the AC in Sagittarius, the old boundaries are falling, the walls of the castles are falling down, and the expansion of the personality into a divine being this is actually what is happening right now okay short update i hope that helps you a little bit to understand the situation better uh, what also is going on hand in hand with this uranus energy especially is that our physical bodies are being changed. And I think many of you have already understood that. So I want to emphasize again, please, please be very careful what you eat. Don't eat all this ready-made stuff that is full of poison. Try to make uh, simple dishes yourself and especially drink good water. Get yourself um, 
um, maybe um, a little thing that you can make uh, distilled water. They are not very expensive. You can buy them. And uh, especially in the morning, drink at least one glass, at least one glass of distilled water to flush out your body. And one thing that I just also recommended some friends is, you know, we are all full of heavy uh, metal toxicity. What helps there is coriander. And uh, what do you call it? Not just the, the, the seeds, it's the whole plant. It's the leaves and the stem and the roots. So take a bunch of coriander, put it in a um, cold, a cold, cold water in a pot for about three, four liters, and he and cook it up with slow heat. Put the heat on the lowest and leave leave it. It takes maybe about two hours, um, and then you get like a golden, a little bit greenish golden water. Take the coriander out, cilantro, coriander. It's both the Korea. Some people say coriander only the seed, cilantro. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, it's sometimes mix up in the mid language. So sorry, but I think you get what I mean. Sure. Then uh, strain it and put it in the fridge and drink morning, noon and evening or morning and evening a glass that helps you to get rid of the heavy toxins within your body, the, the metals. I had taken that when I, uh, I learned about that when I took out the amalgama in my mouth. So that really helped a lot to detox all this. So go ahead, it's a very good opportunity now to detox. Uh, avoid MSG and all these things that are in food and try to get your fresh food from the farmer's market wherever you can and make your own food. And if you have to go out and eat out at noon, then take something with you. I hope that helps because now in this detox period that we are recreating our body in a higher um, frequency it will be very good if you do that it will be very helpful and you maybe feel less tired and sometimes the energy is very difficult to go along with okay anyway so i see you next uh, reading and uh, i hope that helped you a little bit if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have questions, you can answer, you can ask them below. And you also find my contact there. Thank you. Bye-bye.